I was probably just your average student, and then Mrs. Draper, who was a social science teacher, looked me in the eye and told me, you're too smart not to be doing better, and she sat me in the front row of her class, and that was when I really took off as a student. And so I became not only a good student, in my view, a better student athlete. Growing up in Ennis, there were not a lot of African-American college students walking around. The first college student that I really encountered was my older sister. She went to Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches. I became really preoccupied with the idea of doing that. When I first got to U of H, that calling of civics, government came back. I decided to run for speaker of the student senate. I remember sitting in my speaker's office one day and the Gennaro Roberts, good friend of mine, who's president of the Black Student Union, came by and said that he was on his way to pick up an application for the Mickey Leland Congressional Internship. And I said, hmm, I'll walk along with you. So as a result, we both went to Washington, D.C., the spring semester of 1987, and worked on Capitol Hill, and it was an eye-opening experience. So when I came home from that internship, I immediately signed up for an LSAT prep course, and after law school, I accepted a job with Fulbright and Jaworski and came back to Houston and was in this really dynamic space of this large international firm doing litigation. I decided to run for a state judgeship in 2008. At the time, it was a long shot, but we were successful in that bid and I won. And at the same time, Senator Barack Obama had run for president. It was a real surreal night to watch your own election and at the same time to be on a ballot where history was made. And ultimately, President Barack Obama nominated me for the federal bench in September of 2014. It was a crowning achievement in my career. My wife is a U of H alum graduating in 88. She's also a lawyer. She started out at the U.S. Department of Labor and then went into private practice, went in-house with BFI, Lindell, and British Petroleum. She has since left and now she is doing outstanding outside the practice of law. She is a owner operator for McDonald's and owns and operates several McDonald's here in the greater Houston area. When I received the call that I was receiving this award, it took my breath away. Obviously, I want to thank my wife and my sons. My professional career has been developed with their assistance and their patience. I could not have achieved in my career what I have achieved without their help these pushes from teachers to coaches to mentors, it all results in this moment. I would tell anyone who's considering going to college, looking at a university, and you're looking for a university that will put wings on your back and give you the opportunity to go as far as you want to go, the University of Houston is your next destination.